With the amazing news that we're getting a Red, White and Royal Blue 2 movie, I thought I would rank, in no particular order, my top 10 moments of Red, White and Royal Blue. Starting with number one, Kate Gate. What happens when a drunk Alex confronts an uptight Henry in front of a massive cake? A great enemies to lovers story and two boys covered in cake. Fine. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Number two, dancing at the museum. This is such a beautiful moment where Henry finally opens up to Alex about what he wants with Alex and for the rest of his life. Please be patient with me and I promise I will try and be brave for us. Because when I write the history of my life, I want it to include you and my love for you. History, huh? Bet we can make some. Number three, the Red Room. This is the first time that they're on the same page, and it is explosive. And cut hilariously short. All right, fellas, time's up. We gotta get back to, oh God. I also love that for one moment, Alex is panicking that he's read the situation wrong, and Henry is panicking because Alex likes him. Number four, Zara catches them. The desire for Henry and Alex to get together after so long apart makes them completely forget just where they are, and Zara taking them apart is just priceless. Seriously? Alex, we are in a hotel crawling with reporters in a city filled with cameras on the precipice of the biggest event of the campaign in a race so close it could be arrested for assault and you're asking me not to tell your mommy on what? you? I haven't told her yet. Oh, gee, kid. I'm sorry to interrupt your process of becoming, but you're the one who decided to put your d into the air to the British throne. Well, technically, I'm the spare. Not talking to you, sir. These two fully grown men stand there so awkwardly and scared. And then the moment she leaves, they break and cannot believe what just happened. Number five, turkey conversations. Bonding over your fear of turkeys is a great way to become friends with someone. It's the first real hint that Alex likes Henry as he doesn't want to hang up the phone. I'm hanging up now. No, I'm hanging up on you. Fine. Have it your way. That's what the big red button is for. Good night. Number six, hiding in the cupboard. Stuck in a cupboard, they find themselves learning more about each other and putting their past grudges behind them. The heart to heart so early on kicks the door right open for their friendship to start to grow. For the record, I didn't say get me out of here. I said I need to get out of here, which is a different thing entirely. Oh. Well, now I feel like I need to apologize. Number seven, Polo. I mean, it's Polo. Of course it would be on the list. Why else would it be here? You hungry? Yeah, I could eat. Number eight, first time in Paris. Of course Paris is on here. Why wouldn't it be on here? Some fun banter and a real connection. Their walls are down and they can take their time. Exactly what you want from this moment for both of them. I am so not playing this cool right now. <laughs> I went to an English boarding school, dear. Trust me, you're in good hands.
Number nine, a ring and a key. I've talked about this scene before and how important it is. This is where Henry commits to Alex 100% with giving him the ring. And Alex gives Henry a home and a safe haven with the key. I love you. I'll be as patient as you need. Before we get to number 10, I have one honorable mention, and that's... He is. Number 10, first kiss. Henry, drunk and confused, takes a risk, and Alex leans into it. It leaves them both more confused than ever, and Alex just stands there, wondering what just happened to him. Your eyes are as thick as it gets. Let me know in the comments what favourite moment of yours I may have missed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future red, white and royal blue action. And as always, thanks for watching and let's see what other secrets we can uncover next time on Nerdy Investigations.